Get our gang, Danny. How you going? Back in Elder Scrolls Online, Blackwood. And we are on the lookout. Actually, we're going to travel up here because it's a big section. What is it? Unexplored. Now that we've sorted out our good friend Lady Laurent and Stibbins for yet another expansion. Yet another chapter of that. There was a chest there. I saw it. You saw it. We all saw it. But I'm just going to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep moving. Another beautiful rainy day out here in the old Blackwood. So we got... Magic! Fascinations to beguile your very imaginations. So we, we got... That uh, entire area over there, which we need to have a little look at, to see what's about. Then I think it's time to uh, eventually make our way back. Ah, hot, hot and zell. But what if we are wrong? Not even my strength can hold back an entire brigade. Just stay out of it, Himjas. We have lost too many lives already. Yours need not be included. Himjas, what's up? Ah, you look strong and capable. I could use your help. Tensions between my tribe and the Imperials who've set up camp nearby are close to a breaking point. While I often solve issues with my Wamasu-like strength, I fear it will not be enough here. Wamasu like strength, eh? Yeah, tough guy. Oh, what's going on? Members of my tribe have gone missing. We captured an Imperial Lieutenant to question him about it, but everyone is so angry already. If my tribe executes him before we actually get to the bottom of this, it will only make things worse. Uh, what do you need from me? What this situation needs is an outsider's perspective. My people are too enraged to think clearly, and the lieutenant will not talk to us anyway. We need someone outside the tribe to mediate. You would be compensated, of course. What do you say? I'll talk to the lieutenant and I'll find out what happened to your missing people. I am sure our combined heroism will save my tribe from this plight. The Imperial Lieutenant is just ahead. While you speak with him, I will head to the Northern Swamps to continue investigating. Meet me there when you are finished. You got her, Himjas. Alright. Got this zone guide up here. Why can't I get rid of that? Alright, that's better. Tracking the right quest now. We told him just to stop trying to recruit strangers for this. He will not listen. Brigadine Lieutenant Viria. The Bella's sacred buttocks. Am I glad to see someone that's not part of this tribe? Maybe you can do something. I've tried telling these lizards that my soldiers have nothing to do with their disappearing people, but they won't listen. Well, you can talk to me now. What's going on here? I'm an officer in Leowin's Ivory Brigade. We've been trying to expand trade routes out here, but we're not kidnapping people. My brigadines are missing too. I was pursuing a lead to find them when I got ambushed and thrown in this cage. What lead? I was investigating the great number of beasts that have started congregating by the water's edge. It's like they've taken over. Nothing about it seems natural. My theory is that those monsters are responsible for our missing people. How so? They're vicious, and the sheer number of them all at once is undoubtedly lethal. But my commander's skeptical. He thinks the Argonians are retaliating for us getting too close to their territory. And if he gets wind of this, he'll respond in kind. Olik? I understand that Hinjas asked for your help, but 
He can be overzealous. We have the situation under control. Our prisoner feigns ignorance, but he does not tell the whole truth. This dry skin was found trespassing in our swamps to the north. Well, he claims he was looking for his missing people. Always excuses with these Imperials. First, they show up claiming to seek trade. When we ask that they leave, they camp near our borders, and more arrive each day against our wishes. Suddenly, our people go missing. This is no coincidence. Why would the Imperials take your people? I wish I knew. There is a supposed peace between my people and the Imperials. Keshu the Blackfin ensures that. But that does not mean some do not still break rank. Especially if they want to lay claim on a new land. But why not just attack us? Himjas seems to want to figure that out. Himjas is enthusiastic to a fault. He thinks himself a hero, but usually just ends up getting himself into more trouble. This is no different. If you insist on helping, then I suggest you drag him out of the northern swamps before he hurts himself. Okay, him just uh, meet him in the northern swamps. A glowing, glowing hack wings. What's going on with that door? There you are. This is where our investigation begins. Let us look around. Okay, I see some footprints over here. There are footprints ahead, toward the water. This is where I gallantly apprehended the lieutenant. We are on the right track. Let us continue. Have a listen to this guy. Gallantly, eh? Couple of bog dogs. Yeah, just they're all glowing green around here. Getting hacked by the hack wings. Oh, he just look at you, tough guy. What are you, what are you doing over here, man? I thought, I thought you were all in, Mister Courageous. Argonian totem. Mm, these ancient totems are spread out across the swamp, but they are always dormant. Strange. Very strange. I think there are more farther ahead. I wonder if they are active as well. Well, we better go have a little look. A lot of bog dogs and hack wings all glowing. Work our way around it a little bit. Oh, we got an oblivion portal over here. Bora plasmic corpse. We go right past the clue, did we? Oh yeah. Argonians and Imperials. It looks like they were fighting back to back, defending themselves. Their wounds are jagged too. Perhaps we will find survivors farther up this way. Another glowing green totem up there? Something, something's going on. We use this 
die for rituals. Is this what woke those totems? Let us follow the footprints. Well, straight over here and up to the top. This is the largest of those totems I mentioned earlier. Oh no. I think I understand. These totems, the dye was used to paint runes upon them, which must have activated their latent magic. But those runes are only known to this tribe. The Imperials could not have done this. It had to be one of our own. What do the runes do? With these runes, whoever is responsible turn this totem and the others into very powerful lures. That explains the excess of creatures coming out of the swamp. They would be drawn out in droves by this kind of magic. Why would someone do that? I do not know. It is incredibly dangerous. Even with someone as skillful as me protecting the tribe, these creatures do not discriminate who they hunt. We need to stop this. Uh, how do we do that? I am not sure. My brute strength and fortitude do not lend <laughs> themselves guy. easily to the inner workings of tribe magic. But perhaps fortitude is all we need. Let us try smashing it. With your you brute, go first. with me, I can save my strength in case we have need of it. Of course, of course, he us. Well, let's try and break it up. Despite my yelping, I was not afraid. I assure you, there is no shame in being frightened. Of course, if you are alarmed, do not worry. You are safe with me. Anyway, that was a great effort on your part, but perhaps hitting it is not enough. <laughs> so what do we do now? This is now beyond my capability. I believe the magic of these totems and the secret to destroying them would be known by the elder of my tribe, Naish Nurwal. I think we need to speak to her if we are to learn anything more. Now where is Naish Nurwal? She should be back in the village. I will head there first and explain the situation, but I believe you should speak with her as well. Nahish Nurwul, um, does not always take my counsel. I will meet you there. I will return and speak to Nahish Nurwul. Meet me there when you can. Oh, he's running top speed? He's going top speed? Okay. Sorry, horse. <laughs> Red straight into the wall. I was hoping, I was hoping to clear that wall. Actually, not so Artists smooth. Of Imperials and our own. Yes, fighting together, and their wounds were jagged, as if they were from mighty beasts. Himjas, if this is another story, Nahish Nawul, I will go verify the truth of this claim. More story, eh, Nahish? I appreciate your willingness to help, outsider. But you must understand. Heem Joss has a strong heart, but he often invents problems in order to test his heroism. This matter with the Imperials is likely simpler than he insists. Actually, one of your people is responsible for the missing people. Both Argonian and Imperial. What? This is a very serious accusation. The idea that one of our own caused so much pain, it is as hard to chew as thick bark. Is what Heem Joss said about the bodies true? Please, tell me all that you know. Someone used magical runes to turn totems into lures, which attracted creatures from the swamp. The creatures in the swamp are incredibly vicious. Even in small doses, it's no wonder so many have fallen prey. It seems our prisoner was not lying to us. 
Those totems are ancient and very powerful. Meddling with them is quite dangerous. We tried destroying the largest one, but failed. The one at the top of Zal Irisotl? I'm not surprised. Dismantling lures as powerful as this will require going inside the Zanmir. Unfortunately, as time abandons all Irisotl, its depths filled with nightmarish horrors. Then what should we do? We have no choice but to venture inside the Zanmir. But we do not have enough people to do so safely. We have lost too many of our warriors. You are here as a mediator. Perhaps you could convince the Imperials to assist us in this matter. Well, I can try. Good. Hopefully he will be willing to appeal to his superiors. Regardless, I will make sure he is freed. Take this. It is a ward that will unlock the main entrance of Zal Irisotl. I will gather as many warriors as I can and meet you there. I'll speak to the lieutenant and then enter Zal Irisotl. Gods, this can't be happening. I heard what was discussed. I can hardly believe it. They were so quick to pin the blame on us, and the whole time it was one of their own people? I suppose it doesn't matter now. We've all lost friends. What we need to do is fix this. Do you think your people would be willing to help the Argonians enter the Zanmir? The Ivory Brigade is far from petty. I'm sure there will be some who are unhappy about it, but... Even they will understand the need to work together in order to stop this. I'll speak with my commander if I'm free to go. I'm sure I can convince him. The Argonians will free you. Go speak to your captain. My apologies on behalf of my tribe, Lieutenant. Let us get you out of there. I will meet you at the ruins. And? <laughs> what are you, you going to do him, Just? Oh, it's going to talk about his powers and how he can fly through the air, and then by the end of it, he'll just be cowering on all fours. Zal should be along the bottom of the structure. Let us hurry. All right, I got faith in you, him, just there. The door. I got faith in him. He's going to find his courage. It is quite dark in here. Why don't you lead? <laughs> oh, you know what I haven't got? I haven't got my Miri out. Where are you? She's hiding again. Bit of a wave, and then she steps out of the shadows. Okay. Ready when you are. And she's uh sporting dual. She's dual wielding now. Oops! And now she's on fire. <laughs> Let's watch out for the plate. You relics, why will you not stop? Oleg, you did this? Hinjas, I am sorry. I cannot disable the lures no matter how hard I try. My touch causes them to fade, yet they return within seconds. When I take my axe to the stone, my blade only dulls. I blamed the Imperials for our missing people. I was a fool. Why did you do it? I was trying to protect my people. Too many times dry skins have come to our swamps in an attempt to claim them. These Imperials seemed no different. I hoped to frighten them. I activated the totems to try and chase them off. Himja said they've been turned into lures. Yes, our people once used them as a means to gather food and resources. When the totem is active, creatures are drawn to its aura like a kotugava to blood. You didn't think there was a connection between the lures and your missing people? I did not know how dangerous this ancient magic truly was. I did not understand my actions were the cause of all this. 
Not until I heard about the bodies you and Heemjoss found. And once I realized, it was already too late. But you came here to try and fix things anyway. Yes, but it is impossible. Nothing I do works. The magic replenishes itself within mere moments. I am truly sorry. We should evacuate our people to Gideon before Hutan Zell is overrun. Help is coming. Help is here, my friend. Let us begin. Nahish Nerwul. And the Imperials? I'm sorry. This is my fault. The time for blame can come later. We're here to help. Olik's actions were foolish. These lures have lain dormant for a reason. The magic within them is dangerous. Still, the actions of the past cannot change the present. What is done cannot be undone. But we can ensure that no one else gets hurt. How do we do that? A ritual. To dismantle the lures, they must be touched above ground and below within a few moments of one another. It requires an act of unison. Perhaps it is a test from those that came before us. A lesson of sorts. Now it falls to us to learn it. How do we coordinate above and below? The Imperials agreed to post their soldiers above ground. They're already in position and awaiting orders. Once you activate a lure below, its partner above the surface will flicker, signaling the Imperials to act. Do you understand? Yes, but what will you be doing? I will return above to coordinate our efforts. If something were to go wrong, I want to be able to help remedy it. You and Hinjas must dismantle the lures down here and rejoin us when you are finished. Good luck to you, outsider. And thank you. Himjas and I will handle the lures down here. Thank you. We will fix this, Olik. Do not worry. Alright, Himjas. I think it is working. It looks like it. Companions jerkin. Oh, here's the next one. It seems the Imperials up above are succeeding as well. Slime? Watch out for the plates. It's like Mary's enjoying her new role. Get behind them and stabbing them. Actually, not so much stabbing. I gotta give us some daggers for that. She's got a mace and a big old axe. But she's doing well. Now I will make a swift, daring exit and run back to the village. Meet you there. <laughs> Tough guy. Ah, okay. There was an exit just over there that whole time. Hopefully everything's cool.
You have my thanks, Lieutenant, as well as my tribe's friendship. Thank you. I assure you, we will do everything in our power to make sure this is the start of a prosperous friendship between our people. A great success. I miss we roasting are victorious over fire. and strong, Sweet and all and mostly intact. Crunch. Mary, what are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Nobody was asking. The totems have fallen silent above ground. I assume you and Him Joss were also successful from below. The beast should move on now. I do not think they will trouble us any more than they did before all this. We will all be safe. Are things resolved between you and the Imperials now? In large part because of your efforts, we were able to find common ground and the desire to communicate. I have personally apologized for our responsibility for the bloodshed, and they have been gracious enough to accept my sincerity. What's going to happen to Olik? Olik was trying to protect his people, and we understand that. But his actions cost lives on both sides, and for that he must be punished. It pains me, but it is necessary. Olik understands, and he will face his punishment bravely. I see. You have my enduring gratitude, Traveler. Should your adventures ever bring you this way again, know that you may call us allies. I think Himjas was looking for you. Be sure to say your farewells to him before you continue your journey. I will, I will. Himjas. The tribe will be telling stories of this for many years to come, I am sure. The mighty Himjas, with his faithful partner, slashing through horrors in the darkness of ancient ruins without a shred of fear. Thank you for your help, friend. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, him just. What will you do now? The tribe will flourish now that we are no longer fighting with the Imperials. As for me, I will continue performing heroic deeds across the coast. Great heroes like us never stay in one place too long. You take care of yourself there, him just. Don't get yourself killed. I wish you luck. Please. Take this. Not only did you fight bravely, but you ensured a truce between my tribe and the Imperials. You saved many lives today. I will make sure no one leaves you out of the grand stories of our heroism. Oh, man. Him just as heroic britches. Oh, thanks for the pants. Heroic pants. We did it, friend. We fearlessly pursued the truth cut through our foes with Wamasu-like strength, bested our enemies, and came out victorious. And I did not get terribly injured. This is a great day. It's a great day indeed. Are you angry with Olik? No, though I imagine some will be. I happen to understand what it is like to be impulsive and overconfident at times. I see why he did it. And in my heart, I know I can forgive him. Whether he can forgive himself is a different matter. What about the Imperials? Will they forgive Olik? That I am not sure. But the fact that they put aside their grief and anger in order to help us in the ruins makes me believe that they understand better than I would have anticipated. I hope they forgive him and that relations between us flourish. Thank you for your part in this. Our intention was never to frighten the citizens here, but we did not listen to them when they expressed their concerns. We simply went about our business. This is just as much our fault. And what will you do now? My commander asked me to be the official liaison between the Ivory Brigade and these Argonians. I hope to keep our alliance intact and perhaps even turn it into a friendship. It'll take some doing, but I'm confident we're off to a good start. What do the rest of your soldiers think? Opinions differ, but they are all honorable. They will hold up this alliance, even if they are still mourning those we lost. Time will heal that pain, and even those who protest the loudest will see that peace is the right answer. Well, good luck to you, Viria. Okay. Oh, I'll leak. My gratitude is overflowing, like a swollen river. If not for you, 
there would have been many more deaths. My punishment awaits me, though I do not know if it will ever feel like enough for all the hurt I caused. What's your punishment? Nahish Nurwul is being lenient. A full exile would be fitting, but instead she has ordered me to hunt rare quarry. I cannot return until I procure the skin of an albino deathhopper, a beast which has not been seen in more than a hist's age. Do you think you'll be able to do it? It is not an impossible task, just very difficult. I am exiled until I find my quarry, so I have no choice. It may take me many changes of the seasons, but that is what I deserve. I accept my punishment and will endeavor to see it through. Right, well, good luck to you too. Let us be off. We are now this gonna go. Walking anyway. Yeah, we are gonna go over there, we'll grab that way shrine. Oh, actually, before we do that. Little crafting area over here. Oh, sorry, horsey. He's fine, he's a he's a tough horsey. Okay, that's discovered. Let's go get that way shrine. And then it is off. For the next part of the main quest. Gideon, here we go. 